This is Artifacts of Mars, and I want to discuss an issue with you that happened to the Boy Scouts, Troop Boy Scouts, headed from Canada into Alaska. These are American Boy Scouts. Get the kids out of the room, because I'm a little angry about what happened. There's no reason for this, there's no excuse for it, if it's, if what everything the Scoutmaster said is true. One of them's lying, either Scoutmaster is lying, or the Border Patrol agents are lying. Are the kids out of the room? Alright, this happened about a week ago, Central Iowa Boy Scouts Troop just returned from home from a three-week trip that I'll never likely forget. This is from KCCI.com. By the way, there's a story. What happened was they went to the checkpoint to go into Alaska from Canada. And one of the kids these are just children. One of the kids pointed, uh, pointed his picture at a Border Patrol agent. And the agent didn't like it. And he took his picture and the uh, Scoutmaster, you know, was warned, you know, you can't take pictures of federal property, you know, blah, 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 so he didn't say much of anything, but unfortunately that didn't help because he turned around and Border Patrol agent agents started searching through all their luggage, which should be, which is unbelievable. And then, one of the uh, kids was getting some luggage down from the top of the car, one of the vehicles, and apparently, Border Patrol agent took his gun out, a loaded pistol, and pointed it right at the kid's head. That's what Scoutmaster claims, Border Patrol denies it. So, we don't know, there's no evidence to tell one way or the other who's telling the truth. But the Border Patrol agent hasn't come on uh, video and said, no, he's lying or anything. And all they can do is say, no, we didn't do it. Scoutmaster said, yeah, they did. I believe the Scoutmaster, I don't believe them. Uh, what the fuck? is going on. The Scoutmaster complained, you know, our southern border is fucking wide open and you let the illegals in here and you treat our own kids like this and he's right. Boy Scout Troop 111 leader Jim Fox spelled out what happened to him and the mid-Iowa Boy Scout Troop 111 has four van loads of scouts and adult volunteers tried to drive from Canada t into Alaska. Fox said one of those scouts took a picture of the border official which spurred agents to detain everyone in the van and search them and their belongings. The agent immediately confiscated his camera and informed him that he would be arrested fined possibly $10,000 and 10 years in prison. Fox said that he was, he was told it was a federal offense to take a picture of a federal agent. Not buying things to escalate. Fox said he did not complain. So, here we have a bunch of fascist dickheads. I don't know how else to put it. These are fascist dickheads. Well, I'm not taking it back. It doesn't say what county it is or even how to get a hold of them. I wish I could blast the motherfuckers 
by email or phone call or something and really let them have a piece of my mind because there's no excuse for this. If you pull a gun on a kid, there's this little law that's called endangering the welfare of a child. And you don't do that. Like I said, I believe the scoutmasters. I don't believe the border agents. They just said, no, we didn't do that. And they mentioned that they have a picture. Well, only one picture was taken, and it would not have shown the scout, the uh, border patrol agent pointing the gun at the kid. So, that's meaningless. So I think what we need to do, this type of thing needs to be reined in. I wish I knew what county this happened in because I would be all over their shit. And it's KCCI that's out of Iowa. Uh, apparently there's no local coverage of what happened. This is disgusting and absurd. And I wish people would wake up. This is fascism. I mean, these are kids. They don't know anything about goddamn federal laws saying you can't take a picture. That's bullshit anyway. They're public figures. What, you can't take a picture of border agents? Jesus fucking Christ. The president has a pictures of him taken all the time, except I don't consider Obama to be the president, but just for the sake of argument. He has pictures of him taking them all the time. Congress is on fucking uh, camera all the time. These are public officials. They're going to be photographed. And we can't take pictures of federal agents? That's bullshit. That is under hogwash. I won't even fucking listen to it. It's stupid. Now, I'm going to address... I don't know the border agent's name, stories. There's multiple stories on this. They didn't release any information about who he was or how to contact any of them. I'm going to say this to you anyway. If you really did point your gun at the kid, which I believe you did then it is my personal opinion that you belong in prison. It is in prison that you would receive the training, the education, the instruction, direction, and correction that you need to become a reasonable, decent citizen. If it were up to me, you would spend some time in the Iron Bar Motel, Mr. Point the Gun. This is disgusting, I'm a horde. They're threatening kids now. What the fuck is going on? And if you're the supervisor of the man who did this, I say this to you. You should lose your job immediately. You allowed a kid to be placed on in extreme danger for no fucking reason. You search through all their stuff, you harass them. If you're their supervisor, you should be fired immediately. No ifs, ands, or buts. And for up to me, there would be some jail sentences handed out, and you, too, would be in prison. You would spend a good long time in prison, as a matter of fact. Threatening little kids. What the hell is this country coming to? But we can let them pour, and at the same time, the media says, Oh, the poor children from the fuck south of the fucking border. We're fucking children. Half of them are fucking MS-13. They let them come in and treat them like fucking royalty. Then you wonder why some of us are fucking pissed. 